Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we check out the all new Scarlet and Scourge signature Mark Holcomb pickup set from Seymour Duncan. So when it comes to tone connoisseurs, I don't think you could find a band that is more deserving of that title than Periphery, right? Everyone in Periphery is basically an authority on Sonics, right? Like everything sounds good from them. I don't care if you're a fan of the music or not. Everything those guys produce sounds insane. Well, Mark Holcomb has had the uh, Alpha Omega set for quite a while now, a few years, and he has updated his, his choices, his tastes like a fine wine. And that has given us the Scarlet and Scourge pickup set from Seymour Duncan. And before we go any further, this is not a sponsored video. I am a Seymour Duncan artist and Mark is a buddy of mine. However, I asked for this pickup set to uh, put my guitar and uh, no one gets to see this video before it comes out. All thoughts and opinions are mine. So with the Scarlet and Scourge pickup set, you get refinement, you get, uh, you get a second pass, right? So with the Alpha and Omega set, as far as that pickup goes sonically those were uh those were thick and those were chunky and i feel like the scarlet and scourge pickup set is much more defined dynamic and less hot and my first thought was okay there's a lot of clarity in the top end of these pickups however i like the fact that the bridge pickup for example has an elnico 8 magnet while the neck pickup has a ceramic magnet. This just gives you just a ton of clarity without the mud. Now, as far as output measurements, the Scarlet neck pickup measures at under 8K and the Scourge bridge pickup measures at just over 11K. So these are a little bit more dialed back, a little less wines than the Alpha and Omega. I really enjoy that. Now, enough of my yapping. Let's go ahead and hear these in the context of a mix. I'm just gonna chug away on the bridge pickup and uh, you know, do my thing with this PRS Tremonti hardtail that the pickups reside in. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna come back, we're gonna talk about it. Now that we got the full mix out of the way, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a walkthrough. I am going to plug into my Fractal Audio Axe FX3, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through some tones, uh, clean, crunch, lead, chugs, all sorts of stuff. You'll see me flip back and forth between the neck and the bridge positions. Yeah, let's hang out, let's get some tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do I think? I've been really happy with these pickups, especially in the PRS Tremonti. They just pair really well with the solid body electric. I feel like compared to the Alpha and Omega set, these are just a little bit more, well, actually a lot more refined. Less whines equals more clarity, more sensitivity on the pick attack, at least for me. And I don't know, it's just less, uh, less pedal to the metal and a little bit more, uh, you know, we'll get there. I don't know if that analogy makes any sense. However, these sound really, really great. They cut through in a high gain situation, but they're also, the neck pickup is just not muddy and I'd love that. Everything is voiced as it should be and you don't ever think, oh, I wish, you know, the top end was this or that way. As Soon as you strike a chord, you're like, all right, yeah, there's the sauce. And that's what I look for in a good set of pickups. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more information on the Scarlet and Scourge set from Seymour Duncan. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.